Um, I know we don't know yet who's going for the Tigers. Do you have quick thoughts on today's game three, 308 start? Yeah, I'm confident. I I know everybody lost their mind after game two, and I get it. When you lose in the playoffs, it's emotional. Uh, Once again, people suggesting that they should have taken Classe out before that at bat is ridiculous. ridiculous. No. The idea of walking Kerry Carpenter is silly. You would have never suggested that before that at bat. No. Unfortunately, he picked that day to have a bad day. What are you going to do? I'm going to trust him in the exact same spot every time. I do too. Uh, Hopefully it's a one-off. And yeah, well, I, I think, throw three straight sliders though. That's why I, I just, that was weird. Can't yeah. I can't we can't get to the bottom of I, it. Vote said <laughs> I'm out of that. That's hey, not listen, my area. The first two sliders he threw were great. Who calls that though? Is it the catcher? Is listen, it pitcher? In that situation, that's a wonderful question. Austin Hedges is catching, so I'm assuming No, Bo Naylor was catching at that point. At that point it was Bo Naylor. So, so Naylor, what? Been, you're right. There is yeah. not a chance in the world Austin Hedges would have called for three straight sliders. Never. Right. Now, listen, the first two were good. I mean, they were good pitches. He got strikes on them. Right. I don't love the idea. You know, he, he I don't know why. It, maybe he wasn't feeling the command on the fastball because he didn't have great command on his fastball that day. It wasn't just that pitch either. Like a lot of folks, as we were leaving the game, a lot of people were saying, you know, he made one bad pitch. No, he no, didn't. No, he didn't. That was as bad as Class A has looked all season, not yeah. even close. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, if not for the Quan ridiculous catch. Yeah. And that was very close, but they made the right call. He gets dinged for five hits in right. in, in one inning. Yeah, that's that's I mean, not Emmanuel Plaza. And the last hit was because he didn't get the first quick enough. It uh, counts. But, but, like, you can't get – listen, he gave up hits to the eight, nine hitters leading up to Carter. Can't do it. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Yeah, you yeah, can't that's, do it. That's that's I'm with you. I, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not overly terrified, but I will say this. I, I said all along, even before the postseason started, the Tigers are my nightmare. I do not want to see Detroit in the postseason. They're playing with house money. They're our little brothers. We beat up on them so badly in the last 10 years. Nine of the last 10 years won the season series. So this is their chance. Yeah. I also would say this today, because everybody's looking at it as, well, you know, you've got three. You you need to win two. You need to win today. You need to win today. And the reason I say that is the same reason why I said you need to win game one. I said if you lose game one, you're looking at going to Detroit where they can have a sweep in game three because mm-hmm. we're not beating Scooble. I was firm on that. We didn't beat him. I'll say this today. Scooble start in game five if it gets there. He yeah. is absolutely pitching game five. That's not even a question. Right, sure. I, I don't believe they can't beat him in a game five. I don't, I, wanna, I don't want to take that chance. I, you'd rather not be I'd in rather that not. situation. I mean, they could have beat oh. him in game two. Yeah, I mean, they, got they, out, they got out of him pitching. Yeah. Well, it was 0-0, zero, zero, which, what more, I mean, obviously, you'd love to have, have it be one nothing. I have I mean, a question right. for you, and this yeah. isn't, um, you know, armchair quarterbacking. In the moment in the game, I said when David Fry came up first and third, oh, you're squeezing here. You're absolutely squeezing here. Why wouldn't you? You can't hit into a double play. Fry's yeah. not a fast runner. I about that you're laying down a ball. you got a left-handed pitcher, so he can't see the runner at third. Right. And, and by the way, I like the call to hold the runner. My view of it was perfect. I'm looking, he does the ball get to the left fielder before the runner gets to third base? Right. And he had it in his glove a step before the runner got to third. Yeah, Book any kind of good throw, it. he's going to be out. Yeah, you hold. Yeah, yeah. You'll, and I'm fine with that. And Jay, yeah. just to clarify so everyone knows, your view was because you were sitting right behind the dugout. I was like, in the right dugout. Right there, yeah. You were on TV every pitch. And I've got a field yes. level of it, and I'm looking at the left fielder, and the ball is in his glove. Yeah, it was the same. And I'm yeah. yelling, hold, hold, hold. Yeah, yeah. And it was the right call. But. And I know hindsight's twenty twenty, but in yeah. the moment, I'm saying, this is a textbook squeeze situation. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be a phony. I didn't think about that at the time. Uh, some people have suggested that Quan should have been on the move there from first. I'm surprised he didn't run. That was a little surprising. I think that's the most fair criticism. Yeah. I didn't think about uh, a squeeze, honestly, I like David Fry, the way, he, the way he just handles the bat in his yeah. hand. Um, I like his chances to get a bunt down. you got a yeah. lefty on the mound. He's, he's going to get a great break. A lot of times, this happened to me once as I was pitching. Same situation, first and third. Now, I'm a righty, so I happen to see the runner break. One thing you can do in that situation, instead of letting the hitter drop the squeeze, is yeah. you just hit him. Right. Hit him. Yeah. We've runner seen, stays at third. I've now you got that. the bases loaded, I, double play still in order. I, right. But I wanted a suicide squeeze. There. It's a scoreless game. Yeah. Your Scooble yeah. is lights out. I know they had him on the ropes there, yeah. but the worst case scenario was a double play. You can't hit into a double play on a squeeze try. So, worst case scenario, you still have a runner in scoring position yeah. with another at bat. I uh, guess in theory you could hit into a double play. Huh, squeeze, I, yeah. I've never seen Highly it. Highly unlikely. On yeah. a squeeze, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hindsight. I guess you could. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's hindsight. I took, we, we took that out. Yeah. Um, they got to get some runs this game. 
<laughs> like, like we ain't making no excuses. Can't it's, win if you don't score. Scooble, <laughs> yeah, Scooble, yeah, we've been talking about the bullpen, and sometimes we get kind of infatuated. And we know pitching is dominating postseason, but you got to score some runs, especially if they ace is not on the, on the mound. And I'm with Jay. They have to win this game. Ain't no, ain't no, like we could probably get away with. Mm-hmm. Nah, not with a young. Because if you don't, nah. you're guaranteed you're gonna have to see unless them again. you unless you lose game four. But if even if you win, now you know. Not only do we have to win game four, yep. we got Scooble waiting for us. Who, by the way, you always hate the guy that's that's dealing against your team in a yeah. big game. This guy's got moxie. I mean, this guy was embracing the smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Although it was and it was interesting though when he hit uh, uh, John Kenzie. Hit him he on actually purpose. like a. Hit him on purpose. Uh, yeah, I don't buy that, but I, hit him on purpose. Set up the double play. I, yeah, I don't know. Well, you got I, it. I, I've done it. All right, fair enough. Maybe. I've done it. I, I, I don't <laughs> work. I'm not, not buying bad. what you're and selling, but uh, it was. A, but it seems he sincere. did apologize. Yeah. To it him. was a gentleman's <laughs> hit batter. It was like, look, I had bad. to do it. My bad. I had to do it. Look, he, he Take met your him, base. He met him halfway. Hey, sure. No, no hard feelings, but you look, you look beta <laughs> if you intentionally walk him. So what do you do? You hit him. They just catch a little, little and bit. And you of got the, the ground ball double play tailor made right after yeah. that. It worked. Per- yeah. I gotta say, Detroit, they're not awed by the moment. They're not blinking on this stage. They are here to meet the moment. It's something to be said for somebody they ain't supposed to be no good. Like but, they were not supposed to be good. They yeah. snuck into the postseason. Then they won against the Astros. Then they're like, listen, well, the same. The reverse happens with us. Like we saw Detroit, and they're like. Hey, it's Detroit. We play them a lot. Detroit's not going to be in awe of the Guardians. They play them 35 times Their a year. Their crowd's so going to be nuts. Their crowds they had be a free up. rally yesterday. Yeah. Man. It's a great park. They haven't been in the playoffs in a decade. Right. When that, so, when that park gets rocking, it's an awesome park. It is yeah. a great – it's a lot like Cleveland. It is very in much In a so. playoff game, it's yeah. a lot like yeah. Cleveland. Their fans are tremendous. Yesterday, they had a free sort of gathering for fans, and they showed up in mass. They are ready for this. They've been waiting to take a drink for a decade. You know what that does to a team. And – Collectively, it was weird. God, it was a flashback to 2016 to me. The moment the ball went over, well, that it was obvious that it was over the fence. It sounded in that stadium exactly like it did in 2016 when the Cubs took the lead. You thought there was as many Tiger fans as there were Cub fans? Bull, it was everybody in the box was like, how many... How many Tigers fans are here? Wow. You heard two things. Yeah. You heard the Tigers dugout absolutely erupt. And you heard everybody behind the first base dugout, which is where the Tigers fans were sitting. Yeah. It probably didn't come through on television, but yeah. I was in the box with other people that were also in the box in 2016 Game 7, and they all said the same thing. They're like, oh, my God. I don't know that if you saw it. That sounded like 2016. I, know, I don't know if you saw it, but when Carpenter – I mentioned this yesterday. I saw it. When Carpenter rounds first, he kind of has a look on his face like he couldn't believe what he did. He was shocked, but by yeah. the time he came around third, yeah. he was in the moment. Yeah, sure, which he should be. And it was – I mean, it was a big-time clutch hit. But uh, I don't know. I, listen, the ebbs and flows happen – in a, in a baseball series. They do. And momentum yeah. is the next day's starting pitcher, if you will. And we don't even or, know who that is for yeah, Detroit. Yeah, or, or, or now this day of baseball, the next day's uh, opener. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but, you know, Cobb, it's a risk with Cobb. We don't I know like what Cobb. to expect. I feel good with but Cobb. But I do feel good about him, and he's not going to be overwhelmed by the moment. He's a veteran pitcher. Yeah. Go out there, pitch well, and, and the off, you know, the top of the lineup's got to do their job. Yeah. If they do, the Guardians should win. Bottom of the lineup has some question marks. They yeah. don't, we don't even know who. I don't know. I think Rokio's had some be. good at bats in the, the postseason you look good. so far. The, Tiger, yeah. the Tigers won because their bottom guys did what they supposed to. Mm-hmm. They, they, they hit the ball. Yeah. So you, they hit they hit our ace. At some point, we're gonna have to have some guys right. in the eight and nine hole to hit their pitchers too. Yeah. You got to get more than three hits to win, and you yeah. obviously can't win if you're not scoring runs. So I, yeah. all that being said, I'm I'm very nervous, but I am confident that. I think Cobb's going to do his job. You predicting a win? He'll get. I, I'm predicting a very close Guardians win. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get. Yeah, you I like. I like them today okay. too. And I. I All think right. they're going to win both games in Detroit. Oh, and wow. take care of business. I hope so because Damn. I do not want to see Scooble again. They I win don't. today. I actually may go to the game tomorrow because I'm going to be in, in Michigan tomorrow. Oh, you might as Central. well. Central. Yeah, yeah, I got Central well. this weekend, so I'm, I'm heading that way tomorrow. It could be a clincher. If it's Regardless. a clincher, I'm probably. It will be a clinch. It, a what are those tickets clincher. gonna go for? If I want to go to go it on. was hundred and three dollars today to get, get in. in. If they lose today, and it well, you know, I'm not just a get in kind of guy. 
No, if they win I'm today, the price I'm just saying that for... was the lowest get-in price. So. <laughs> Not I mean like that. I'm still, I'm still if they that. win today, though, the I, price goes way that, up. That was yeah, a yeah. soft. That's a soft flex. I ain't just get just get so in. Well, if the Guardians win, if the Guardians win, it'd probably be like cheaper to get in. I would think. I just meant like I'm like a middle of the road kind of guy. Not a get-in guy. Absolutely. Yeah. But if the Tigers win, oh yeah, yeah, it's a clincher for them. Right. And it's going to be a really tough day. Right.